Hey guys, it's Tarko Cyclo at FPV. The whistling that you may have heard is from Jeff, right next to me. Uh, and uh, this is gonna be a real quick video. Yeah, this playing. Uh, this is gonna be a real quick video on um, putting the uh, putting new heat shrink around your battery. In this case, I'm using the Thunder Rush, the Sugar Rush series right here. And uh, this battery I was flying yesterday and had a pretty good wreck and uh, broke off a good portion of it as far as the plastic goes and the, the heat shrink goes. So um, and we're actually going to be putting these on the side. These are some of the heat shrink wraps that came from Thunder Power RC. And uh, this will apply to other batteries that you have, but I'm actually going to demo it for these because we sell a lot of these. Um, and so I'm going to switch the camera views here, camera angles real quick, if you give me a second. All right, so what you're looking at here is a Sugar Rush 4S, and they make two different types. They changed their design, which makes the smaller one here. And this is the original one that we had. Uh, I fly them both, they both fly very well, but uh, we're gonna be working on this one. And this is the actual heat shrink that we will use for the uh, smaller 4S, uh, but it will not fit on the larger one. And like I said, you'll be able to find these on the website here. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna get started with this. Now one of the things about Sugar Rush that I wanna mention is that on top of having the heat shrink, they also have this little, um, I guess it's a little, I don't know, a little holder that will hold your balance, uh, balance charger uh, cable right here. And uh, it's, it's taped on underneath the label on the top and then over the label on the bottom. On mine, it tore off. Uh, there's just a little piece of this left. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then just show you kind of a real quick way to put something back on the way I do it. You can come up with your own methods if you like, um, but let me just show you. So what I did was, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and put the battery here. Uh, and I've got some uh, Gorilla Tape uh, uh, here and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna peel off, right, probably right down the center here, maybe a little less than that, peel off. Uh, and what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get about 90 millimeters out of it, okay? So let me go ahead and just cut this. And then I'm gonna size it close to around 90 millimeters. So I'm gonna get my ruler out. And you can come up, like I said, you can come up with different methods, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at 90 millimeters. So 90 millimeters, um, about, uh, this is about 110, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here. And there we go, there's our 90 millimeters, all right? And then what I'm gonna do, if I can get this off my finger, okay, well, we're gonna fight with this tape for a little bit. So anyways, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is get about 60 millimeters. Now this is a little bit wider, this is considerably wider actually than the one that uh, they put on there. So you can either take this, if you take half the tape roll, you can either take it in half, all right, and you're gonna get this off. You're gonna have a 90 millimeter now in two sets. And so what you wanna do is you wanna cut about 30 millimeters off of this one. So if I wanna cut 30 millimeters off, uh, I will cut uh, right here, okay, and that gives me a 60 millimeter section, all right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to kind of space this out, uh, so you've got about 15 millimeter difference, so I'm going to just tape it upside down, uh, starting at about 15 millimeters, okay, and I'm just going to run it straight down like that, all right. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want the balance uh, charger cable to stick here. And then I'm going to find where there's a good comfort spot here. So I'm going to put the cable in and I'm just going to kind of wrap this around and try to make it as even as possible. Try to lay it out as even as possible like there. And you don't want it too tight because you want this thing to be able to pull out when you need it. But uh, and I'm going to put the other one right about there. Sorry, let me turn my phone off. I apologize. All right. So there's that. So now we've got our, our, um, our piece in place there to hold the cable. And now we're gonna go ahead, and this is really good, um, uh, really good, uh, really strong heat shrink here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of bend it at the seam so it can open up. And we're gonna go ahead and insert the battery. Now this was made for a 5S, so this is gonna be a little bit big. You can cut it down if you want, but I think it's gonna be just fine here. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our heat gun and we're going to go now you got to be careful with this stuff because it shrinks really fast and you can burn a hole in it very quickly so you don't want to really focus too much at one time on one spot just kind of go around and uh, I believe I need to lower lower the temperature here I keep my heat gun at about 200 degrees Celsius let me just get it down to that I had a little higher I was doing a uh, chip replacement on a board so you just want to kind of go pass over quickly and then turn the battery and pass over again and just keep going here and do it again, All right? And just kind of, kind of wave around and just try to get it going. And if you keep doing that without focusing and you know too much on one spot, you should avoid splitting it, okay? Or opening up the heat shrink or having a hole burn in it to where it opens up. Just keep going around, all right? And I've 
had a whole burn in it even when I thought I was being careful. So it doesn't mean it won't happen. It's just little tricks to try to prevent it, I guess. Being that this is a 5S, uh, was for a 5S, but because the 4S is uh, pretty big, this should be okay. So we're gonna keep going around. All right, and then as you start seeing it get, you can start covering more of the flat surface area. But like I said, don't focus too much on one spot. Just wave it through a little bit. All right, and we'll keep doing that. And now we're getting to the final stages of it. You can go ahead and push pieces down with your fingers if you want, just to make sure they take the shape that you need. All right, be here close enough. And we are pretty much done. A couple more passes here real quick. And uh, that should be it. Let me just go back over it real quick. Make sure everything's pretty tightened down. You don't want it to be loose at all or have too many gaps in here. You want it to kind of be as close to tight as possible. And try to get out some of the wrinkles. Unless, of course, the wrinkles come from the battery itself. Which, basically, because it's been hit or jarred a little bit, it no longer has the natural shape that it had. <laughs> or the shape that it had when it got shipped to you. All right, so without wasting any more time, this is pretty much uh, where we're at. And you can look at that and you'll see that it now has a new layer of shrink wrap on it and it's holding everything in place nicely. And uh, a few more seconds of this. And then on the back here, if you want, you can just heat it up real quickly and then just kind of rub the battery down there and it will try to eliminate as much of that as possible. And there you go. So now you have the battery redone. Uh, fresh heat shrink on there, protected well. Everything looks good, right? And uh, you can still remove the cable and then put it in place uh, when you go out to fly and everything looks pretty good. And I could have pushed this back in a little bit and made this come out. So I'll know to move it back just a little bit more, but. I think that's actually comes pretty good, saves the battery and, you know, protects it pretty good. And uh, that's it. You've got a good battery there. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's something we're going to have on the website. So you'll see it under the LiPo section uh, of uh, CycloneFBB.com. And if you go there, these will probably be posted. Today is the 30th of April, so you'll see them on there by May 1st. And they'll run a couple bucks a piece for the, um, for the heat shrink, okay? All right, guys. Talk to you later. If you need anything, hit me up at Tark at CycloneFBB.com. And we'll see you soon. Bye.